Hi again, YouTubers. I am here to do a review on the Coors Ginger and Vitamin Foundation SPF 10. And it is a lightweight water-based foundation that balances skin tone and leaves the skin fresh and luminous. I wanted to love this. You guys have heard me talk. I love my Coors Wild Rose Foundation. This stuff is amazing. And I was like, oh, if I like that so much, um, Sarah Dunn, one, uh, actually told me about this and has done a review on it. And she loved it. She thought it was the greatest thing. Now, she doesn't tend to wear a lot of foundations. Um, but she tried it and she loved it. So I was like, oh, if I love the Wild Rose one, I'm going to love this one. And my thoughts were for the summer, I wanted a lighter weight foundation. So I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. Um, so let me show this to you. First of all, it is very runny, um, as is the Wild Rose. I'll be honest with you. This is what it looks like. Now, I did buy it in a darker shade to use it for the summer. And my face also, I use self-tanner on it. Um, here's the unfortunate part. After about two hours, I look like an oil slick. The only thing I changed that morning on the first time I used it, I tried it three times. I didn't give up, give up after one, but, um, the first time I tried it, I was like, after about a couple hours, I had to reapply powder. And then a couple hours I had to reapply powder again. And I'm like, oh, the only thing that's different that I'm using is this. So, Unfortunately, this product doesn't work for me. I have combination skin, which means that my skin is dry around my mouth through here, but I get oily on my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. And that's the area I really saw this, just I was getting the breakthrough oilies. So now Sarah Dunn wears it and she has dry skin. So I have a feeling that might be why it works for her better than me. So if you have dry skin, watch her review, guys. Um, and see what she has to say about it as well. However, for me with combination skin, it just didn't work. Um, I tend to, in the summertime, by the way, use Trish McAvoy's moisturizing tint in beige. I'm just gonna show you the difference in consistency. Maybe that's it. First of all, you can see how this came out. It came out like a little bubble. But this stuff just smooths on and it's amazing. You, you can see, it just has a really great texture to it. It doesn't get oily. Um, it doesn't feel sticky on my skin, unfortunately. Not that the ginger and vitamin one feels sticky, but it just feels like it has too much moisture to it. Um, I will say my skin felt amazing after I washed my face. Like, it felt amazing. Like, my skin felt great. But it's not worth it to me to wear this just to get my skin to feel better when I wash my face. I'd rather use moisturizers for that. Um, this one just made me way too oily. So unfortunately, I have a feeling this one's going to be going back. Maybe I'll get the primer when I return it because they're the same cost. And I feel bad returning something and not buying something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any additional comments or questions, sorry, uh, just put a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Bye.